Here I was, confronting my greatest fear. Math! Wendy, focus. What is 9 plus 11? A, 19, or B, 21? The numbers whirled around me. Panic set in. Uh, um, 9 plus 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equals 19? No, 21? Great numerical gods, why is this so confusing? You're so extra. Sit up, I'll show you again. I still don't get why I have to do this, though. It's not like I'm going to school. Yeah, I quit school not long ago to help mom out making a couple of bucks. In case you haven't noticed, we're dirt poor. I'm Wendy, by the way. 15 and fabulous. Well, sorta. <laughs> I know I'm a big silly goofball, but the good thing is my brother, Leo, does not share the same brain cell with me. That guy ate knowledge for breakfast. He went to this elite high school, on scholarship of course, and always a top student three years in a row. That's like genius. Mom also said he's our only ticket out of poverty. That's why she held three jobs at once, while I gathered scrap metal to sell to the scrapyard to support his study. The three of us have been working hard to create a better life for our family. But then, one afternoon, I suddenly noticed posters of Leo that accused him of breaking his classmate's arm. What nonsense is this? I tore them all down and rushed home to see a bunch of gangsters breaking our things. My mom and Leo were in the corner, begging them to stop. Stop! What on earth are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing, brat? I'm collecting compensation for your brother's victim. He messed with the wrong person. The son of a loaded family. Y you got the wrong guy. Leo wouldn't hurt a fly. Right, Leo? I turned to him, but he just lowered his hat in guilt and defeat. How much, then? Three thousand dollars. <laughs> Three thousand? <laughs> you kidding, right? Do I look like I'm kidding? Let her go! Just stop it! All of you! Then mom rushed to the kitchen and brought back all of our saving jars. They're about $1,000. Just take them and leave us alone. I'll pay the rest later. The thug let me go and grabbed the jars. We'll be back next month for the rest. Mom fell to her knees. She looked so hopeless amongst the mishmash. Mom, Wendy, I'm so sorry. Please let me help. The school already suspended me for a whole month. I'll, I'll get a job. I'll pay for the debt. No, my boy. Use this free time to study. Once you come back to school, I want you to be the perfect student so no one can ever look down on us again, okay? But what about the debt? Just leave it to me. I'll work some extra shifts here and there and everything will be sorted. Now go study. Th thank you. Mom, I won't let you down again. Then he left the room. That's when mom's smile wears off. I knew she only said that so Leo could have his peace of mind. The truth was, no amount of mom's extra shifts could get us 2,000 by next month. I think if the math was right, it's time for me to save the day. I tried to get a job, but somehow they all lasted for only one shift. Like when I was waiting for this diner, all the food and drink just fell out of my tray. Or that time when I work at construction site and I got my foot stuck on the thing I just built. <sighs> I came home feeling deflated. Just then, there was a knock at the door. It was Nathan, Leo's best friend. I could instantly feel my cheeks heating up. Hello, Erp to Wendy. Are you gonna let me in? Or are we gonna stand here, awkwardly? Uh, oh, uh, sure, come on in. <laughs> you look, uh, exhausted. You sure you're all right? It's just the whole thing with Leo. I've been trying to get a job to pay for the debt, but nothing worked. I'm sorry all that happened to your family, and I want to help you, but there's something you should know first. After the talk, Nathan got me a job as a maid for his cousin Zach's house. Other maids were showing me around when, get out! A maid ran past us, crying her eyes out. What was that? That is the young master Zach throwing a tantrum. He's the illegitimate son of the light master and was only brought here five years ago by his grandfather. And let's just say, Madam Linda, his stepmom, is not so thrilled about it. They've been on each other's necks ever since. The girl you just saw was Madame Linda's favorite. She's been a thorn in Master Zack's side for a while now. Then I gotta find a way to get on both their good sides to prove that I'm perfect for this job. Okay, first day at work, Madame Linda was complaining about Zack's toy car collection, so I threw them all away. But Zack went bonkers on me and went rummaging through the junkyard to find every single one of them. S Sorry, Master Zack, it's just Madame Linda. Oopsies. He immediately stormed off to confront Madame Linda. I felt bad, so to make amends between them, I cooked his favorite soup and told him that Madame Linda made it for him as an apology. But as he took the first bite, his face turned green and dashed to the nearest toilet. Whoops. One rainy day, I was taking the trash out and saw a strange woman peeking from the fence. She suddenly tripped, so I helped her up, asking if she was looking for someone, but she just ran away. Whoa, Jesus, how long have you been standing there? Long enough. Come inside, it's freezing out here. Uh, sure. 
Later that day, I was cleaning Madame Linda's room when accidentally knocked over her jewelry box. It crashed on the floor, spilling jewelry everywhere. One of the bangles snapped in half. I frantically pocketed it to fix it later. When the gruff butler swung the door open, I apologized and promised to fix the jewelry box, but he still insisted on firing me. Just then, Zack stepped in and ordered him to let it slide. Zack then stayed and watched me fix it. Where'd you learn to do that? It's nothing. I grew up in a trailer park. Everything we own came from the junkyard. They just need a little fixer-upper. I've been doing it since forever, so... You got a gift. Besides, reusing things is... cool. <laughs> Whatever you say, pretty guy. Say, you wanna hang out sometime? Like a... date? Maybe. Won't your girlfriend get jealous? <laughs> what girlfriend? I'm very single and ready to mingle right now. <laughs> sure, why not? On the weekend, Zach took me to his favorite coffee shop, and I got to see a softer, more caring side of him. Turned out he never got a girlfriend, so I made him a flirting tutorial. For a price, of course. <laughs> At first, I thought he was just practicing on me by giving me flowers and fancy chocolates, but then he continued to woo me with my own list. He set up a romantic picnic under the stars in the backyard, took me to the park, and we watched the enchanting sunset together. That night, we walked back to the mansion. Before coming inside, Zack stopped me. These past weeks that I've known you have been the best moments of my life. Wendy, I think I've fallen for you. Will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> Where did you learn those cheesy words? Do you like them? <clears throat> is it hot in here? Or is it just you? Stop! <laughs> I just need you to promise to be on my side, no matter what. I promise. When Zack left, I returned to my room. I pulled out my diary and then ticked off the last box on my list. Well, it was fun, Zack, but everything must come to an end. Soon you'll pay for everything you did to my family. I knew the truth back when Nathan came to our house. There's something you should know first. Your brother was tricked. He didn't start the fight. A guy mocked your poor family, so Leo turned aggressive. After the incident, the guy was salty Leo beated him. So he faked a broken arm and had his family come for yours. They don't need your money. They just want you to suffer. And who's that guy? He's Zack, my cousin. What he did was wrong, so I'm on your side on this. And there's another thing. Nathan played a video of Linda and her thugs threatening my mom and demanding more money. My rage became scorching. That moment, I decided to get revenge. That's why I became a maid at Zack's house, sabotaged his relationship with Linda, and made him fall for me. Everything was going just as planned so far. But the next thing I knew, Mom called me to tell me that Leo had been expelled from school and ran away from home. My blood was boiling. That's it. Today's the day Zack goes down. I pulled out Linda's broken bangle and placed it on my bedside table. During the daily room check, the butler spotted it right away and informed Linda. She rushed over to reprimand me for stealing her jewelry. Just then, Zack swooped in to defend me. Zack, you have to trust me. I didn't steal it. I just wanted to fix it before turning it to Madame Linda. Don't worry, I believe you. You heard her. I know you despise me, but don't you dare drag my loved one into this. Oh, finally put it out in the open, huh? You and your low-life girlfriend. Birds of a feather. You're right, we're alike, and that means we're nothing like you, you evil witch. Ha! Huh. Let's see how you like it. Alone on the streets? Guards, throw them out now! The next second, Zack and I were dumped on the sidewalk along with our belongings. Watching him grappling his stuff, I couldn't help but chuckle. How does it feel to be discarded like an unwanted object? Enlightening, isn't it? What are you saying? You remember Leo, the person who broke your arm? Who you used to extort money from my family? I'm his sister. I think you got it wrong. Leo didn't break my arm. He only shoved me to the ground and said something like, don't talk nonsense about his family. I didn't care, but Linda kept telling me to skip school the next day. She must have used me to make a fuss. You mocked my family for being dirt poor. That's why Leo was so mad at you. That's not true. I used to be poor too. <sighs> you remember the woman lurking around the mansion? That's my real mom. She just wanted to make sure I was okay. Turned out, Zack and his mom were abandoned by his dad because of their humble background. Then his grandpa found him. Though Zack didn't want to, his mom made him come with his grandpa so he'd have a better life. But what his mom didn't know was that heck of a mansion was the coldest, most isolated place. That is, until you came. And it hit me. Zack is telling the truth. That meant I had taken revenge on the wrong person. Shoot! I am so, so sorry. I had no idea. And now you're kicked out, Leo's gone, and there's a huge debt. I don't know what to do. Hey, hey, it's all right. One thing at a time, Kay. I'm not mad at you or anything. I just wish you'd told me, but it's fine. I don't really like that house anyway. What about your brother? He got expelled and left. I'm sure he's okay. I'll help you find him, yeah? Thank you, and I'm sorry. I don't know how to make it up to you. You don't have to. I got a feeling you didn't come up with this twisted plan. I didn't. It's actually your cousin, Nathan. I took Zack back to my place where he'd crash in the meantime. 
Mom was in tears. She told me that Leo was accused of plagiarizing an essay so he could no longer go to that school. But Leo's too smart to do such a thing. So Zach proposed we investigate at the school. To find whose essay Leo supposedly copied, we broke into the school's computer lab that night. We were snooping around when suddenly, Zach was grabbed from behind and dragged away. I slowly turned around and was shocked to the core. I sprinted to Nathan's house, banging on the door. Nathan! Zach! Zach was kidnapped! He's the heir to Adam's estate. They took him away for the ransom. The heir? What do you mean? Your grandfather's lawyer came to see Zach and I overheard him. Your grandfather's sick, so he authorized a lawyer to hand the will to his sole heir, Zach. The will? Do you know where it is? If we swap it for a fake one with someone else's name on it, they'll release Zach and target that person instead. Great idea. I think Zach left it in his bedroom. Maybe it's still there. Nathan and I hurried over to Zach's house. Nathan snuck into his bedroom while I was on the lookout at the door. Nathan switched the will for a fake one and took out a lighter and set it on fire. Just then, I turned on the light, scaring him to death. What on earth, Wendy? Kill the lights or we'll be caught. You mean, you'll be caught? Then I opened the door, revealing everyone in his family and my brother Leo. W what's going on? Enjoying the taste of your own medicine, cousin? Yeah, you just got busted. Remember when we were at the lab? I was shocked to the core to see my brother muffling Zack. Shh, be quiet or we'll get caught. Leo, I thought you left. Mom was worried sick. I know, I'm sorry, but I need to sort this out. Things have been sketchy ever since that incident with this guy. And now with this, I gotta prove my innocence. So I came here and found this. Look. Turns out, Leo's essay was identical to yours, Nathan. You took advantage of me to get revenge on Zack when he wasn't to blame. You told Leo Zack was badmouthing our family to stir things up between them. You made our lives miserable. I trusted you. I can't believe you'd go this far. You're always obsessed with Grandpa's inheritance. Everything's a competition for you to prove that you deserve to be a successor. All that work, but still nothing. Do you know how many sleepless nights I had to study? Or, or to hatch a plan? Worrying mom and dad would blame me for not trying? For not being better? And you just showed up and everyone sees you as this golden child. And all my efforts have gone to waste. Why, Grandpa? Why not me? You were left out of the will due to your greed and scheming behavior. Now I know it's your parents' fault, and there will be severe consequences for them. And you, Nathan, you will join the army after graduation to serve the country, get disciplined, and come back a better man. Guards, take them away! As Nathan made his exit, he paused at the sight of Leo and I. I'm truly sorry. For everything! Then he walked out the door. In the end, Grandpa chose to give Zack his share of the fortune. Zack, however, refused. He never wanted the money. All he wanted was to live comfortably with his mom. So that night, he packed up his things and was ready to go back home. His true home. Seeing Zack, I realized bearing hatred towards someone cannot solve your problem. It just puts you through so much pain, and even hurt other innocent people along the way. It's best just to focus on yourself. You do you, and things will work out on their own. Like now that all mysteries are debunked, our family is free of debt, and Leo can go back to school. Full scholarship. Also, to compensate for what we've been through, Zach's grandpa decided to start a charity fund, and my family was the first to benefit from it. They even helped my mom secure a steady job. As for me, I found a knack for making things and found my place as an apprentice at a pottery studio. My co-workers have become my extended family. They always make fun of me whenever he picks me up. Hop on. We're going to a very special place today. Where to? It's a surprise. Hold tight.